or free motion quilting or micro quilting or our feathers and it builds muscle memory don't be afraid to get your ruler and play with it maybe I just want this place to this place that's what I want and I'm going to use that arc for my cross hatch so if I'm using that arc, I'll go this way. And I'm using that one. If I take this space right here from the point to here, it's going to give me a whole different look. Because it's a different angle. So, uh, I have tons of rulers, this is very true, however, sometimes I just use this piece of that ruler, sometimes I use this piece. Look at your rulers, they got some awesome designs. Clamshells, I love clamshells, but look how cute this clamshell is. Like scales. Mm. That's what it is. Scales. Mm -hmm. Half. <laughs> anyway, I I goofed up. But get the point. And then you can come in and do some fun cross hatching on those. And depending on what kind of cross hatching you do, it just becomes fun. Cathedral windows, that I don't know if you, those are gorgeous. And they have the, this arc is for cathedral window. And I do make registration marks, like a, a half inch move, what I'm gonna do. And then, and they take a long time when you're doing it in the, and I do a, a Half inch, half inch, half inch, and you're going to build something amazing once it starts crossing over. Now you have your half inch marks there. <coughs> We could stop there and do some half ones and then do this little part in the center or we could do that all the way across and it just builds it it's absolutely beautiful so play with your rulers and look on look at buildings and architecture um, it's a good um, building block for our quilt work my hu my husband and my kids are annoyed at me because when we drive, I'm like, okay, let's go take a picture of that house that we drove by. Or I sometimes will <coughs> drive by the fence and then I'm like, don't have my camera out. And so I'm like, okay, let's go buy that house. And then we have to drive and drive and drive, find the house so I can take a picture of the block wall because it's really cool. It's got the pebbles that are just all different sizes and that I can incorporate into a quilt. So take pictures with your phone. The other day I was driving home from Canab and I had to pull over and take a picture of the um, sunset. It was absolutely gorgeous. But the way that the, the clouds went, I wanted a picture of that because you could incorporate that onto your quilt. It was, it, I'm not gonna do it justice because I haven't looked at it for a little while. But it was just beautiful the way the clouds feathered across the sky. When you see something beautiful, take a picture of it, print those pictures out, and get yourself a little card file of design ideas. It doesn't have to be um, an actual printed out version of what inspires you. 
And Margaret does the art painting with her threads on her quilts. Um, you are the artist of your quilt. You get inspired by nature, wrought iron fences, manhole covers. <laughs> There's all kinds of really cool things in this world that can inspire you. That manhole cover, I wish I could find that picture. I gotta go back to Walmart and take another picture of it. But um, it was really amazing and it was a ruler thing and I actually did use it in a quilt because it was very geometrically awesome. So 